Hello, good evening to everybody. Uh, can you hear me? Mr. Hako and Ms. Castro, welcome. Good night, teacher. Good evening, perdón. Hello. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm um, sorry, I can I can hear. Hello, uh, guys. Um, I I think I had some problems with my speaker, but let me let me just try to um, check the settings here. Uh, I don't know if you can tell me uh, if you are if you are there. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Very good. So, uh, listening now. Uh, well, we're going to start with the video conference that corresponds for tonight. Um, as you know, yesterday we were discussing about the campfire. Uh, now, uh, tonight we're going to be discussing some grammar parts. In this case, we're going to be talking about past continuous tense. Uh, that's what we're going to be working on. And also, uh, we are going to, to contrast uh, the past continuous tense with the simple past. Can you can you see my my um my webcam? Can you see me yes. in the webcam? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, when we talk about past continuous, um, as you know is when we want to refer something that starts at some point in the past, then continues, and, and, and then it also finish in the past, okay? Um, and when we talk about a simple past, uh, that's mean that we are referring to something that it is in a specific point in the past. So uh, that, that does, uh, in general words, that, uh, that is what it's involved, the past continuous in the simple past. We are going to discuss that, okay? So uh, this is just the introduction, but before starting working on those, uh, those topics, we're going to be uh, developing an activity. I will share to you a link in where you're going to be playing a game and um, you're going to be working on vocabulary. You're going to learn some vocabulary that is related to the following topic that in this case is new broadcasts. Um, I'm sharing right now the link, just give me a second. Okay, um, I had shared the link to you um, through the, um, the chat box. 
Uh, we are going to play something that is called play no word. Um, so it's a little bit funny because you are going to be guessing some words. Um, in this case, um, the the meaning of those words. I'm going to I'm going to share to, with you um, the web page. Just give me a second. Um, sorry, I, I will share to you the new link. Can you please just go to the link that it says play, uh, play in other words dot com and, and then, and, well, there you're going to find out. Okay. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, uh, okay, tell me, sir. Yes. Okay, so there in the web page, uh, you're going to have a button that it says star. When you click on it, uh, or even you can you can uh, just push enter, and uh, there you're going to have the the game. Um, basically, what you have to do is to set up uh, the time limit, the difficulty of it, and language. In this case, we're going to be working in English. Um, and when you start working on that, so it's going to appear a definition. What you have to do is to uh, try to guess the word. You are going to have a, 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 a key. A, um, well, in this case, you are, you're going to have a, the first letter of the word that it's supposed that the meaning of that word is referring to. Um, if you don't know the, the word, you, ho you have an option that it says skip. You can click on it and you are going to go to the next, next word. And there you're also going to have a, um, like a clue of, of, of that word. Is it clear what I'm saying or, or you want me to explain it? It's, it's clear. Yes, no? Yes, teacher, clear. Okay, very good. So um, there you have, you're going to have just 10 minutes in order to finish that exercise. Uh, after that, we're going to be working on the topic that as I said at the beginning, past continuous and simple, past continuous uh, and simple pass. minutes start right now okay remember that if you have any question please just let me know and I, I will be I may unable to answer all the questions that you have or that you may have
Okay, how are you doing with that exercise? Uh, right Mr. Is, uh, play, uh, okay, Mr. Uh, how many uh, correct uh, answers do you have? Three. Okay, very good. Excellent. If you want, you can uh, set more time. Instead of two minutes, you can set uh, six, four, uh, nine. So you, you decide the time you want to spend on that exercise the limit is 10 minutes as i said at the beginning okay, okay. because uh, at the beginning it says just two minutes but you can set up more more time more time okay thank you Okay, uh, time is over. So tell me, uh, how many words do you uh, do you answer correctly? Mr. Hako? Mr. Hako? Are you there? Only three. <laughs> Only three, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Which one? Do you remember them? Fruits, yellow fruit is lemon, mm -hmm. and another is uh, um, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, okay, very good. Mr. Gerardo, how many words do you have correctly? Uh, and the level is three. Three. Uh, uh, and level one. Okay, very good. Excellent. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, Miss Duran. Only one teacher. Just a, just one. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Miss Mr. Rodriguez. What about you? I answered five words in the different Five words? Yes. Okay, very good. That's in a good number. Easy. In, in easy level, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, very good, excellent. Miss Castro, what about you? Ah, teacher. 
None? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. And the last one is uh, Miss Santos. And only one teacher. Just only one. I really, okay. So yes, I the, remember the word was geography. <laughs> geography. Ah, okay, very good. So, um, so there in that link, you you have the opportunity to play it as many times as you want. And there, you are going to have that tool uh, where you can uh, take take it out some uh, meanings of word, some definitions um, that um, you can match with the word with, uh, well, in this case, with the, the, the word that it corresponds to the definition. And in that way, you can be learning some, some vocabulary. Maybe uh, it's a pure theory, yeah, according to the level the, that you are going to be working on. It's going to appear uh, words that maybe you haven't, uh, listen before you haven't read before and uh, well that way you can practice also reading because th th this is something important this activity is that you can practice you have the opportunity to practice reading because you have to check it out first the definition and then try to relate that definition to a word that maybe you uh, know okay um, we're going to right now to start with, as I said at the beginning, the past continuous and simple past. What do you know about past continuous? Have you ever listened to uh, that structure before? Have you ever listened about the past continuous or maybe the simple past? Do you know what are, what are, what are those? I remember uh, we should use the, the word was after after verb uh, and the verb uh, adding e e e e e ing. ing. Yes. So in this case, the past continuous is when, when we use the subject plus was, as you said, sir. And later on, we're going to use the verb with an ing form. That's what, that's the basic the structure of the past continuous. We're going to see uh, all the structure. We're going to be learning about the affirmative structure, negative structure, interrogative structure. So, and also we're going to contrast that with the simple past. I'm going to share right now on screen and we're going to be, uh, well, in this case, I will be explaining you how to use it. Um, this, the past continuous tense, uh, as we said, is something that has started in the past, continue in a period of time and then finish, but also in the past. Like for instance, in the example that we have in the platform it says, um, I was working, okay, in the morning. That, that's one example that we can find there in, in, in the platform. It says, I was working on the platform, okay? So if you notice there, it says that something happened in a period of time. Uh, we had a, a break point there and it says, uh, I was working. So that's mean I start working in a moment, but later I finish it because right now I'm not doing that action. Um, here, well, I'm going to separate this where I'm going to draw a line in this part and I will try to, give me a second. I'm going to do this. Okay, this is the, the structure, subject plus was. Very, very good ing. And also we are going to add a complement.
This is pass. Let's continue. Okay. Um, if we, well, in this case, we're going to, to try to construct a sentence. We're going to construct an affirmative sentence. Can you please tell me um, a subject? Watch. I can go high. Sorry, what do you say? I. Okay. The pronoun I. What else? In this case, uh, and it says there, uh, we have to use was. Okay, I was. Can you tell me now to avert? Reading. Reading. Okay. Reading. And also a compliment. Yesterday. Okay, I was reading yesterday. Excellent. So we're going to base the, the, the following explanation in this sentence. I was reading yesterday. So as you notice here, we have these four elements uh, for constructing uh, sentences using the past continuous. Um, this is what we're going to call um, as, uh, as an affirmative sentence in past continuous. Um, just give me a second, I'm going to write it down here. In this case, um, Going to use another color here. Now, okay, this is what we call affirmative. So, in the simple, uh, I mean, in past continuous, as in the other tenses that we have in English, uh, we have three different forms of each one. As we know, so in this case, we have the affirmative first, but also we have what is called negative statements. What is the difference between the affirmative and the negative? So, um, the thing here is that uh, in affirmative sentences, um, well, in, in this case, in, in the negative sentences, um, is that we have to add the adverb not, okay? Um, when are we going to place that adverb? We're going to play um, uh, oh, we're going to, to place it in between, sorry, the verb and in, in, in the auxiliary verb was. If we want to construct a sentence with it, we're going to use, as always, the subject, because remember that in English, um, we have to always add the subject. It cannot be omitted. Um, also, we are going to use was, that is, in this case, is the auxiliary verb. Uh, I did not. We are going to add not, exactly. I was not, plus the verb. In this case, Impressive. the verb. In this case, the verb is a present form. Yes. Or, in this or, case, we are going to I use in, the verb I with in, ing form, exactly. Uh, because we're talking about the past continuous tenses. Um, so, and if we know we have three different forms, the affirmative, negative, and the other one, in this case, is the interrogative, um, the interrogative statements. I'm going yeah. to, I'm going to write here, I'm going to write it down here, there. Um, the, well, in this case, the interrogative statement. I'm going to write your interrogative. There. What happened with this? Um, as in simple, as in present simple, uh, or or um, in this case, present continuous tenses, we are going to use uh, or invert or uh, change the order of the subject in the auxiliary verb. What does it mean? That in interrogative sentence, we are not going to use the subject first. We're going to use it 
after the auxiliary verb. In this case, we're going to have was plus the subject plus, in this case, uh, we're going to use the verb with ing plus a complement. <clears throat> But there's something missing here. Can you identify what is missing? There's something that in all interrogative sentence it had to be added. <clears throat> question mark. The question mark, exactly. The question mark. We have always remembered that we need to add the question mark at the end of each of the uh, questions that we're going to be structuring in English. So then we have, uh, those are the three different forms. So in, in affirmative, we have subject, was, verb, with ing, plus the complement. In negative statements, we have subject, was, plus not, plus verb, with ing, but also uh, I forgot to write here that we need to add um, a complement, okay? It's necessary. Excellent. So there, there we have uh, the three different structures. Uh, Miss uh, Castro, can you please uh, tell me um, negative statement using this structure? Was you talking? No, a negative about... statement. This one. Okay, negative. I was. Um... I was. I was watching. I washing. I was not watching um, the television. Okay, watching. I was not watching television. TV. Okay, I was not watching TV. Okay. Oh, I, I had a problem here. It's the letter is me. Okay, there we have. Um, Mr. Let me see. No, Miss Duran, tell me. Um, a subject using the interrogative structure. Uh, was you uh, studying English? Was you English? Okay, was you studying English? Excellent. So now uh, there we have these um, kind of questions, okay? Um, but if we notice here in, in interrogative statements, uh, we have just to, we, we have just um, a, a, a specific structure for answering a yes or not questions, I mean answers. Um, why? Because if we ask to someone uh, these kind of questions, like, was you studying English? The possible answer are going to be, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Okay, that's... Um, sorry, is, is where, where you studying English? Where, sorry, yeah, you are right. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Thank you. I didn't notice it. Uh, where are you? Okay, where are you said in English? Um, I, I was telling you that in this kind of questions, uh, we're going to answer just yes or not. 
Um, but also uh, we have a different form in, in, in interrogative statements or interrogative sentences where we have the possibility to ask for a specific information. And how we do it? Well, for this uh, option, we need to add a, the WH words. Do you know what are the WH words? Or also known as WH questions? Do you know what are those? Uh, for example, why? Oh, exactly. So uh, it, it, the, the WH questions, um, we're going to check it um, at the, I mean, we are going to add it at the beginning of the sentence. And uh, as we know for the WH questions, we have why, what, when, where, uh, how, which, okay, all those are what we know as WH questions. Those WH questions, we are going to place it uh, before the auxiliary verb. This case is the verb to be in past. Uh, we have two, oh, two different forms that for, for the verb to be, that is was and where. When do we use was and when do we use where? Okay, uh, where we're going to use it for second person and also we're going to use it with third person plural, okay? If we talk about more than two people, we are going to use where. If we talk about just one, we are going to be using was. In this case, um, there is uh, uh, um, an, an a specific rule that it says that if we use the second, um, uh, if we use already uh, the subject, in this case, the pronoun you, we are going to be using where because this is what we know as second person. Um, if we are going to construct a sentence, I'm sorry, I, I will just to skip this part and, and I want to move to, to the part that uh, where we have to construct sentences using the WH questions. Um, if we're going to construct a sentence using WH questions, it could be less this way. Uh, for instance, I can add what, where, you, sorry, sorry, setting, yesterday. I, I will use yesterday. Okay, what were you studying yesterday? I'm referring in this case to something that was happening in a specific yesterday. Okay, something that was happening in a specific period of time. Uh, what were you studying yesterday? Okay. Um, now, let's see uh, how, how we can contrast, uh, contrast I mean, uh, the simple pass. In simple pass, we're going to find also um, the three different structures, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Okay. Negative and interrogative. No. Sure. Sure. Tell me. I want a question. In the, me, in the case no, when, no, when, no, the, no, when I no, use no, the no, double no, question, no, it, no, after no, W no, after W no, question, no, is the no, the auxiliary no, where or no, the no, no, or, or the noun? No, in this case, if we use uh, the WH questions, we are going to use the auxiliary verb. In this case, it's going to be the verb to be in past. Uh, I'm referring to was and where. 
I se ve cocienda, va y se ve bien. My question is for the, uh, in the platform, the samples in past continue. Uh, uh, say while he was as Jay, as Jay was and the secretary was for this reason is my question. Let, let, let uh, me I, check let me check uh, okay uh, Mr. Hako uh, let's go to check that exercise because I, I, I need to see it in order to understand what you're referring to can you please tell me which exercise uh, is that is the video in the uh, 4.3. 4.3. Uh, let's share it. Okay, there. The exercise. Oh, okay. While well, divers. Yeah. Okay, uh, what is the, the option that you have there? In this case, uh, the is a while while he was. Is the is the noun is after while. And before what? No, but in this case, while is not using, it is not used as a WH question. I don't know if you are referring to it. If while um, is used as a WH question. In this case, while is not a WH question. Okay. Um, yes, um, while is used uh, for, um, to, to, to set up, and a specific moment, like, like uh, uh, something that is happening in a specific uh, moment, maybe in, in a past. Because if we use while, that's mean that we are uh, like uh, setting two different things happening at the same moment. While divers, uh, in this case, well, I, I, I won't answer that, <laughs> that exercise because you have to do it, but I, I will explain you that later, what you have to do for that reason I won't say it. But if you notice it there, what it says, while divers of the, what? Ah, oh, of the east or, I mean, or the east of Florida, so they, and this is the other part of what we are referring to while, because there are two different uh, things or moments happening in, in the same time or at the same time. It's okay. Well, in the case of, uh, I'm going to write it here. Uh, in the case of simple past, um, we have to construct sentences such as um, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The, the structure for each one um, is going to be uh, constructed in, in, in this way. We're going to use subject. Class, word in past, class, complement. Okay, there we have. For instance, um, if I'm going to construct a sentence, I need to use the subject. It could be a pronoun or a noun, you decide. We're going to use a, a verb in past. In this case, I, I'm going to use went. And a, we have to use a complement. For instance, I, I can add something like, I went to the university. I went to the university. We can, uh, uh, we can add this.
So um, there in simple past, we are referring to a specific uh, period of time. In this case, in a specific moment in the past. So in that, uh, it doesn't matter the period of time that has taken that, uh, that action, uh, but it's remaining in the past. So we are referring to just a specific moment, no something that was happening uh, in, star, uh, in one point in the past and then continue and then finish in another point of, of time in, in the past, um, as we were discussing with past continues. In simple past, it's, we are, it's just referring to a specific things. The same is going to happen with negative. But in this case, we need to use a, well, a different structure in order to a, express simple sentences or simple a, past tenses a, because we need to add an auxiliary. What does it mean? That we're going to be using a subject, okay, plus the auxiliary verb did plus not plus the verb. In this case, the verb is going to be a, as, uh, as an infinitive form. So, I'm going to say normal, normal one. Or oh, oh, I'm going to write it in this way, base form. And also we have to use a complement. Okay, there you have that structure. Uh, can you now tell me to construct a sentence using this structure. Can you help me with it? Can you think on a subject? She okay, he did did not did not okay can 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 dance can dance in this way yes oh but in this way we have to change some things here he did not dance. We're going to, to use this. Okay. okay. He did not dance because we are referring to something that happens in the, in the past. In the, if we use can, uh, we're using another auxiliary variant and also yeah. it's referring for something something else. I will explain that later. But I want just to um, uh, I want you just to make a uh, uh, little review in this. Simple part because I, I think you know that, but uh, I just want to check uh, if you remember the structure of it. We have here, uh, he did no dance. I'm going to add a compliment, for instance, I can say it. He I'll did complain. no dance uh, in the party. Okay, if you notice there, in negative statements, we are referring to something that uh, didn't happen, okay, or didn't occur um, in a specific point in the past. So we know that it was a party, okay? Uh, we don't know when, when it happened, but we know that something didn't happen to you. So, because we are using negative statements. In the case of the interrogative uh, statements, um, we're going to use auxiliaries. Um, we're going to use um, the same structures as negative, but without, without adding the adverb not. And we're going to do in this case. Did 
you study for the exam. Do you study for the exam? So the structure of it is going to be, it's going to be auxiliary. Sorry, auxiliary verb plus subject plus verb. This case is going to be base form. Class, a complement. Oh, and then we have the, the this these structures. Now, as the it happened, oh, sorry, <laughs> that's true. We need to add the question mark at the end. Yeah, very good. So, uh, as we know, in this um a type of questions, uh, we are going to answer a just yes or not. This is what we call just not questions. As it happened in, in, in past continuous, we can also use sentences um, adding the WH questions in order to ask the specific information. The, and the structure, the structure of it is going to be the same. What we have to add is just the WH, I mean, WH word at the beginning of the sentences. For instance, what or, mm, well, we're going to use this example. Where do you study? for the exam, where? So we are asking there for a specific place. So that's the information that we are asking for. Um, also, we can add a, another WH word. For instance, uh, we can say, um, when do you study for the exam? So we're asking for dates, okay? So there we have, can you think on an example using interrogative um, sentences, using the simple past and also um, using the WH question? Can you think on an example of it, Ms. Duran? Ms. Duran? Yes, it's a Okay, tell me, uh, just one example using WH words with simple past and also using the interrogative form. Uh, for example, where did you study for the exam? Basically the same, the same example. So uh, where do you study for the exam? The possible answers will be maybe um, on uh, at the library, at the university, at school, or- On the bus. We can, okay, on the bus, yes. So there are possible, uh, there are a range of possibilities in order to answer that question, that depend on the person that we're asking for. In the case of uh, just not questions, that's close. We're going to answer yes or not. So then we have two these two different structures. What we are going to do right now uh, is that I'm going to share some exercises through uh, WhatsApp and um, I want you to complete it because may, so, some of you have already finished it. The, the platform, some of you had uh, work in these exercises that you're going to find on, on Inglés Corporativo. Uh, and I know that you had practiced a little bit, uh, but I want you to practice more this kind of exercises. For that reason, I'm going to share two links in, in WhatsApp and um, those links, well, with, with those exercises, sorry, you are going to uh, take a screenshot after you finish and you have to send the evidence through WhatsApp too. Uh, this is just for practicing. It doesn't mean that, uh, well, it's mean that uh, it, it doesn't have 
uh, a specific score for it, but it's going to help you a lot in your uh, process of learning. Okay, so. Uh, oh, my God, time is over. If I will be sharing the links, but you can work on it. If you have a, a break, maybe tomorrow, uh, you can work on it. You are going to, you can finish it in 10 minutes, I guess, or less than that. Uh, but right now we cannot work with it because time is over, okay? So I don't know if you have any question. For the moment, no, teacher. Not too sure. No. What about the rest? No, yes. Okay, also I'm going to share I'm going to share two web page uh, about the past continue uh, the, the past continuous tenses and the simple past tenses uh, through WhatsApp. In that way you can like review the information and also check some things that maybe I didn't mention in this video conference. Okay. Okay. So see you. Blessing for all of you. Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Uh, thank you. Teacher. Good night. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.